Now let's talk about rooms and portals and how they are driving the sense of space in three dimensions. In a nutshell, rooms and portals are managing the different auxiliary bus created in white. Before checking how it's done in the engine, let's take a look in white. I created a few different aux bus that will simulate different reverb space for any sounds that will be fed to them. Each one of those aux bus have a different room word attached to them. Instead of manually assigning every single one of the source to every single aux bus, I use the game defined auxiliary sense option. This option basically tells Wise, okay, you don't have to do nothing. The game will make sure that the source I'm telling you to use game defined aux sense will be routed to a specific aux bus at any given time, depending on where the player is at that given time. This will make sense soon, don't worry. Let's return in the engine. My level contains few enclosed space. In those enclosed space, I have placed an AK special audio volume. Before explaining what I did with those, let's see what the final result looks like. So there is five of them in total. These are the blue cube. Right now we see two of them. Let's select them to make it more obvious. That's better but we can do better than that. Let's head into the game object profiler in Wise, connecting the engine to it and play the level. Right now we don't see much. That's because we have to enable spatial audio in the profiler settings. Let me explain real quick if what's showing here is not quite clear. What we see here is literally all of the AK special audio volume placed into the world from Unreal into Wise. Those are the transparent blue cube. The green ones are portals. I will talk about them in the next video. So what exactly we do with those? Remember when I said, okay Wise, you don't have to do nothing. The game will handle what and when a particular source will be fed into a particular arc bus at any given time. Well. Those AK special audio volumes are the ones handling that. In other words, those volumes delimit regions where a specific aux bus should take effect. So let's see that in action. Let's use this volume for example. Let's refer this as medium room. After making sure that the volume encapsulate the whole room, I simply assigned the rev underscore medium aux bus to it. That's it. Let's recap from the source to the final destination. Both audio files are living in their own music track. Those music tracks are children of their own music segment, which are children of their own music playlist container. Those music playlist containers have the use game defined aux sense checked on. Those music playlist containers are then triggered by their own wise events. Those wise events are living in the speaker stereo blueprint and are triggered by the event begin play, so at the beginning of the level. One instance of that blueprint lives inside the AK special audio volume, which has the rev underscore medium aux bus assigned to it. That way, that specific pair of speakers not only produce a dry source signal for the player, which is the actual music with no effect, but also a reverb signal for it. Notice that all the sound associated with the character is also affected by that. Do you know why? Of course you do. I just explained it to you. That's because those sounds also have the used game defined aux sound checked on. It is checked on the actor mixer encapsulating all of the sounds related to the player. 